Hello beautiful people. Welcome back. So today I'm going to do a flip through of this magical deck. But first I wanted to cleanse everyone virtually. Just get some of that in. I love Palo Santo and Sweetgrass together. It's such a nice combo. <sighs> Wash that off. All right. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm personally loving <laughs> all this time to just do whatever I want. It's so nice to slow things down. Um, and I promised this deck like a while ago and I kept trying to film it and it just wasn't happening. After like a hundred attempts, I just threw in the towel. I took it with me um, on my vacation to try to also do the video there. I thought maybe in a different location it would be the time, but even up there, I still had the same kind of struggles. And so I was like, okay, it'll, it'll be time when it's time and it's time. It was beautiful and sunny earlier. Now there's some clouds, but hopefully um, I can get this today. The only problem that I have is that I record on my phone and this deck is incredibly beautiful. Like the artistry from Josephine Wall is such magic and it requires like, I think like a good lens and good lighting so you can truly capture everything in just one card. But since I just have what I have, which is my phone, we're gonna have to make it work. And that's been mostly the struggle with the filming of this is that I'll get past like the introduction and then I'll start showing the cards and they don't wanna focus. And so it's uh, <laughs> there's a lot of cards here. So uh, that can be annoying. Um, Cause just for an example, this is how it looks. So you can see there's a lot of detail, but if like you get closer, you can see even more detail. And so good lighting and good focus is preferred. So hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. It looks like it's really dark in here and I have the light on, the window open, so I don't know if it's just my phone or if that's what's going on. I'm sorry if the lighting sucks, but it is what it is and I have the inspiration to do this video now, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, okay, I can't remember if I said this or not, but this came in the April Witches Moon Box 2019. I think I did flip it through in that video as well. I mean, you can check that one out um, if you want to, but here it is on its own. I have been using this deck since I got it every single day that I go to work. So like five days a week, sometimes on the weekends too. And it has just been such a nice addition because every day I like to, I use, um, currently it's four. No, it's three. It's this one, the other one. And is it four? No, it's four. <laughs> I'm using four decks right now. Um, I'll draw a, one card from each deck as like my daily guidance, you know, for my work day. Um, and they've been absolutely fabulous with that. So I have a few other decks that I want to show you guys that I haven't. Um, I don't think I've shared that I've received them or that I have them. And so I have them pulled to the side of me. If you guys would like to see a flip through on these, let me know. I have the um, Rebel deck. This is a new one. And I, since I love Josephine Wall, I had to pick up this one. This is the Whispers of Love deck. Um, so far, all the ones I mentioned are Oracle decks. I don't know where the little um, box is. I'll have to find it to show you guys, but I usually keep these in a tarot bag, which I'll get into in a second. Um, so this one is the Affirmators. I think it's just the regular Affirmators. I don't, I wanna say it's the regular one. So I know they have many different ones, but this is just like the standard one. So I have these, if you guys would like to see any of these next, you know, let me know down below. Um, and the one tarot deck that I just received recently, um, I bought it in, I wanna say it was January. I don't think it was December. And that's the Golden Art Nouveau tarot deck. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I have the boxes for everything somewhere. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to see any of these, let me know That'll, which one will be next for you guys. Otherwise, I think I'll be doing the, possibly the Rebel deck next, because that's the newest one to me. Um, okay, so this is what the box looks like. It's a pretty cute, uh, pretty thick box. It's cute. It comes with a little booklet. We'll get into that in a second. I personally like to keep my um, all of my decks in, in tarot bags or card bags. This is the one that came in the Witch's Moon, which is the one that I keep it in. So I usually keep it in this beautiful, deeply, just such a beautiful color, purple, with the 
um, rainbow chalcedony and the grape chalcedony. Because those are the ones that, this one especially, because it's all the colors is very similar to the deck. So I usually keep um, both of those all together. But the book and the box I store away for if I ever want to like de-stash this in the future. So the book itself, this is what it looks like. Contents. Oh, is it me or is there a rainbow? Oh, I think it's rainbow time. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, perfect timing with this deck. So this is what it says about the cards. Or about the deck itself. This is the cards and their meaning. So you get the card, um, the picture of it, the name of it, the like phrase on the card, and then what the card means, and then a mantra for the card. And that's pretty much how it goes the whole way through. And then some spreads. And then about the, um, the creator and the artist of the deck. And pages for notes. So pretty nice little book. Um, let me let Horace out really quick. Oh my gosh, how magical. It just came back and it's 11-11. Yeah, that's pathetic, I know. <laughs> I'll hit the treadmill after this. Um, okay. Well, I, to be fair, I've only been awake for like, well, actually it's been a couple hours. So yeah, I need to, need to step it up. All right, so. Okay, I showed you guys the bag, the crystals that I use with it. Cool, cool. Um, this is what the back of the card looks like. I really like the lit from within ombre effect that it has. Um, they're fairly thin. The thinness is equal to that of the Everyday Witch Oracle deck. Um, these are, I think, they want, I think they're like a semi-gloss or maybe they're full-on gloss. I'm not sure. I guess you could say this is glossy. Um, so there you can kind of see like the reflection of it. For shuffling, they are pretty nice. Um, I shuffle mine because these are the same length as my hand. So it's difficult to do them like for like the bridge. Um, let's see here for the bridge shuffle. Cause it, oh, it just makes everything like super stretched out in my hands. But I, oh, that was a fail. Usually how I shuffle these is like this because my hands are smaller. If you have longer hands, bigger hands, you would probably be able to shuffle these like you would a regular card deck. My goodness, I'm struggling. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, we tried, but yeah, we're shuffling. It's pretty good. Let's shuffle a card for us. <sighs> Let's see. What do we all need to hear right now? What's the message that spirit has for us? Um, and then another way I shuffle them is like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I love that. I love this. So we got the Archangel Gabriel, which by the way, I've been using this deck for almost a whole year and I have yet to receive every single card in the deck. It's usually the same, like 20. So this one has never come out. Um, so it's Archangel Gabriel, Messenger of Creativity and Hope. And look at all the kids and the angel. The pretty colors, look at that. And then look, in the clouds, there's birds. <laughs> I love her face. She's like, uh huh. All right, let's see here. So that's what that looks like. And then I'll show you guys what the and it's alphabetical the way that the cards are set up. So here we go. This is what it says about this card. And I follow the guidance of my heart. So I think it's a really nice message. Um, just what we all need. We all need hope and to, you know, use this time to be creative and really let that out. Um, it's so nice. I know that I feel like I vibrate at a higher level when I allow myself to be creative, even if that just means like doodling, journaling, coloring. I'm really into coloring right now, um, which I go through my phases of that. Uh, and I have a few coloring journals. So just whatever way you can um, get some energy out and energy out, I would recommend finding a creative outlet and with that will come hope 
because you'll feel inspired and not stuck in whatever other place your mind could be stuck in. Um, okay. So let's get into this deck. I'm going to have to find a good position around my tripod so I can show these clearly and in frame. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Oh, this deck is... I want to say it's under $20. You can find it on Amazon, probably at the bookstore or something. I'm not sure about the bookstore, but for sure Amazon. <laughs> All right. This one I've received quite a bit. It's a vacation, time for relaxation and adventure. And look at that. You can see all the little details here. I love all the flowers, the birds, the colors. I just love this deck for the colors. The colors are just totally working for me. I love this card. Cheer up, live in the moment. I love light through water. It's one of my favorite things. Um, I'm still a big swimmer, but growing up, I was like always going swimming like every week. Um, and so I have a lot of memories of like being in the pool and like the light shining down and like swimming towards the light. And that's kind of what this car card reminds me of. It's one of my favorite things. It's the light in the water. Okay. <laughs> it's like all, all the cards, except for the first one of the cards that constantly come up for me. Dolphins, another one that comes up. Dolphins are my spirit animal. I absolutely love dolphins. I have a tattoo of a dolphin. That's how obsessed I am with dolphins. Well, that and like my mermaid life. <laughs> but look at all the details in the bubbles. I love bubbles too. <laughs> I used to believe that bubbles were like a fairy world. And so I used to always make my dad like give me like the, the bubble stuff, which is basically soap and water. But I didn't know that. And so I blow bubbles out in the garden and hope that a bubble would land on like one of the dandelions and then their world could be merged. Um, and who knows, maybe fairies do still live in there, but yeah, bubbles are amazing. <laughs> Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. I've been working with him a lot recently for my uh, physical health. I always see him in a lot of green, just like that super green color. This is what this card looks like. If the details are coming up. Hopefully they are. Look at the animals, so cute. Such a nice healing card. Creative wonderment, follow your passion. This chick over here. Some like moody jazz singer. So I should picture her. Why is it not focusing on her face? Oh my goodness. This is what I was talking about, the struggle with getting it to focus. Because these details are important, especially if you're like thinking about buying this deck. Very well. Oh, there we go. She's like, ooh. She kind of reminds me of like a Betty Boop type of personality. <laughs> this card also comes out quite often. Okay. This one too, which I'm like, I've seen like the, what the paragraph says for it. Cause I like to read the book once and then just kind of throw it away and see what these mean to me. And this is one that always kind of throws me. And so I like to imagine that it's about like my inner child. Cause I don't have any children. I don't have any children near me. Like child energy is not something that I'm around very rarely. Um, so I always like to feel like, you know, protect your inner child, like, or work with her. Um, I do a lot of inner child work because my childhood was rough. I think like most people's, maybe not most people, but uh, quite a few people out there have had the same experience where like childhood, my childhood at least wasn't like an actual childhood. It was more of like an adult at, you know, like the age of six, <laughs> um, but all right. Animal Bond, Stand Up for the Animals. Look at this card. I love the colors in this one. Mm, birds, so magical. Letting go, learn to let go. 
Got the spider web. Got them. I just love the detail. I used to always have a bunch of Josephine Walls um, like posters and artwork in my bedroom. I love her stuff. I can get lost in these. I can just stare at this like pretty much all day and like find so many things inside of it and just like, oh my gosh. Um, this one comes up a lot as well. <laughs> this is Illusion. We got her coming out of the mirror. Come on, there we go. Oh! A celebration. Let go and have fun. Look at all the animals. I don't know if you guys can hear Horace is breathing. He's taking a nap. Poor thing. He's tired. There we go. There we go. Competition. It says summon courage and self-confidence. So the detail is crazy. There's so many pictures within a picture. <laughs> I love the child's face. It's like, yeah! You can tell he has no fear. All right. And the moon is gorgeous. Unicorn, invite serendipity. I really want some flowers. Usually I have a lot of flowers, but since all the stuff that's going on currently, um, I haven't, I feel like it's a risk to just go get flowers, you know, but I really want some, I especially want some plants. I mean, I have a lot of plants, but I feel like, I feel the call to bring in more, especially like things I can eat. Um, Dove, take a leap of faith. This one's lovely. I love all the colors. I'm probably going to say this for every card, but I just, I love this deck so much. The colors are amazing. It's medicine for my soul. It's lovely. Go with the flow. Just let things happen. It's also one of my faves. I love when it comes up. It usually comes up when I'm like resisting or you know, going against the current. I'm just like, okay, just relax, let it go. Go with the flow. This is perfect. <laughs> Dragon, discover your courage. Also really beautiful colors and the detail in the ship. Let's see if it'll show. I'm not crazy. Oh, what a dragon. <laughs> that was probably honestly one of the hardest things about the last season of Game of Thrones was the dragons dying. Like, that killed me. Like, I can handle all the other hundreds of people dying, but not the dragons. That was just too much. <laughs> um, confrontation, pick your battles wisely. Look at that. So cute. Lovely. Memories, cherish memories of loved ones. Mm, so pretty. Epiphany, seek clarity. I have this one a few times. I like it. It's very, bam, kind of like an epiphany where you're like, holy shit, how did I not see that? Oh my god, la. <laughs> That's kind of what I see when I see those cards, like la. That's how it looks. Peacock, raise your standards. And this is also the picture of the box, or the cover of the box. The picture on the cover. <laughs> yeah, okay. Seven deadly sins. This is an interesting one. Uh, humanity's destructive traits. So we can see the, 
the other side. So I'll zoom in at first and then give you guys a whole view. So you see nature and you see pollution and darkness and sludge, starvation, fires, buildings. And you see her combating it with love, the planet and the colors. It's so beautiful. And the animals. So that's that card. Legends. Learn from those who inspire you. Ah, so pretty. <laughs> Just love it. Intuition. Trust your intuition. This is one that I struggle with. And it's crazy because I'm a highly intuitive person, but yet I always, I have a lot of self-doubt, you know, and it's something that I'm working on. But, uh, yeah, so whenever I see this card, I'm like, okay. That's what you keep telling yourself. Now you better do it. Oops. Gratitude. Be grateful for all you have. The attitude of gratitude is highly important. I love it. Love the sunflowers. I love the horses coming out of her hands. Enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. That tiger. Has anyone out there watched that show Tiger King on Netflix? Everyone keeps telling me to watch it, but I tried like a few minutes yesterday. And just seeing like the overview about the show, it just it didn't make me happy because I hate seeing animals in captivity. And that's pretty much what that show is about. I haven't like, I can't make a judgment like that like a blanket statement that that's what the show is about. But to me, if it's going to be about animals in captivity and how they suffer and how they, you know, retaliate, like I just can't watch shows like that. Like, it breaks my heart. I think the last one I watched like that was, um, oh, shit, I want to call him Tutankhamun, but it's not Tutankhamun or, you know, the whale that was in San Diego or the killer whale. Yeah. Um, that one broke my heart too. So that was the last one I watched like that. It just bothers me. <laughs> but this is a great card. Get back on topic here. I love the building in the background. So beautiful. And the elephants. Oh, such a pretty, pretty card. Dragonfly. Live life to the fullest. Dragonfly has been speaking to me recently. I saw it a lot in the, um, in the autumn. And I actually purchased a dress that I thought was a butterfly, but it ended up being a dragonfly. And then my friend just gave me a crystal necklace with like a dragonfly charm around it. And I'm like, okay, dragonfly, I will work with you. But this is a beautiful card. Look at that. And look how cute he is. <laughs> All right. Opportunity knocks, go for it. The bubbles. The bubbles with worlds in them. Look at that. Sensuality. Express your sensuality. I love it. I love her hair. It's so pretty. And look at him lifting up the veil. Love it. New beginnings begin your new life. Money, find a way to abundance. Mm, the wolf, so pretty. The owl too, mm, love it. 
knowledge seek knowledge Look at that. Oh, I love books. I'm loving having all this time to read. It's been really nice. I would like no interruptions. Thank you. <laughs> Leadership. Set your goals. This card just screams Leo to me, right? <laughs> so pretty. I have my Mercury in Leo and so it's what it's what makes me so it's what makes me have a YouTube channel because I'm a very private like introverted person but with Mercury and Leo I'm like <laughs> uh, self-reliance don't be afraid to fly solo I love this card I love it personally I'm someone who's very comfortable being alone I don't like I hardly ever need like human interaction um, I do enjoy it and I you know, when it's there, I'm grateful for it, but I, I'm not gonna die if I was never to speak to another person again, you know? There's some people out there that just can't handle it, and that's okay, but it's also okay to be alone, and you shouldn't be afraid of it. There's great power to be found in solitude. Ta da! Okay. Originality, blaze your own trail. Ah, look at her face. I love her smile. It just makes me smile. It's lovely. Okay. Good fortune. I've never received this card. <laughs> Invite magic in. Uh, look how beautiful. Love it. Look at this. Sometimes I forget what other cards are in them because I always shuffle them. So unless I unless it comes out, I never see them that often. Like this one. Moving forward, get ready for positive change. Look at that. It's a really pretty card, nice and icy. Potential, think big for your future. What's that one? Owl, follow your intuition. I like this one. I just wish it would have had like a more of an owl type of vibe. I mean, I can see it there with like the mask and the wings, but I would have liked a more owl type of card. But I do like this one. <laughs> All right. Seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. card looks like. Dreams. Believe in your dreams. Friendship. Nurture your relationships. Oh, look at the eggs in the little nest. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Angel of Miracles, open your heart and expect a miracle. We only have four more cards. Resilience, rise above tribulations. Choices, make the best choices.
Battle of the Blues. Stake, <laughs> take steps towards positive change. I don't know if you guys can see this person hanging out over here with this horse. Mm hmm I see you. <laughs> and the last card we have here is face your fears, release the power of fear. Yes. Look at that. I love all the moons. So pretty. So magical. All right. So... That is the deck of Mystical Wisdom, the Oracle deck. Uh, let me see how many cards there are in here. Mm -mm -mm. I think there's 50 cards, maybe? I don't know. There's a lot there. <laughs> I wish I could tell you I can count them and then put it in the description area, but as of right now, I don't know off the top of my head how many there are. I thought I would say it on here. Oh, yeah. Includes 46 cards, sorry, not 50. 46, and this is how thick they are. So yeah, that was the Mystical Wisdom card deck. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know down below if you have a request for any of the decks I showed earlier that you would like to see first, let me know. And if you have this deck before, let me know down below what your favorite card is or what your favorite card was out of this deck. Um, I like all of them, honestly, but there's more. there's some cards in there that I love more than others, especially, you know, go with the flow. Epiphany. Um, what was the other one that I really like? I probably already said it because a lot of my, my main ones came out. The Dolphin card. Just There's so many. I love this deck. Like I said, I've been using it now almost on the daily and it works for all types of reading, but it's a really nice um, like topper to a card for like an overview of the theme. Um, also good as a daily pull. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.